So AJ has a question. Is there a way to combine calendars from teams one through four? So you have four different calendars into a single calendar in the management team. So into a fifth team inside of teams for SharePoint. So can they combine teams calendars? The answer is the short answer is no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Glad we can help. Yeah. And well, and the, the long answer is possibly if you use some Power Automate to cross post items between those calendars, but there's no way to synchronize there's no the out different of the box. calendars. Yeah, there's right. no out of the box solution for it. No. And is this something calendar overlays was were great, but mm -hmm. Microsoft has deprecated those. And unfortunately, mm. you know, they're taking away things that people need. We we're, we're all trying to manage our schedules and the reality is that our schedules are in different places. So being able to pull things together into one is a real thing. And I think Microsoft needs to put that back on their list personally. I hear this all the time. We hear this all the time. Yeah, and there's uh, different calendars in different locations. And, uh, you know, and so there's there's got to be a way to bring these things together. I mean, like internally, we just created a, you know, a unified, like the single source calendar but it requires that wherever each department, each group is managing their things, somebody's doing the double entry and just making sure that the core calendar is mm -hmm. up to date because there's not a way to make that happen in an automated fashion. The only other option you have is depending on the type of calendar, you can switch back to classic view. I mm -hmm. know I'm beating a drum here. Um, switch back to classic view and sync it into Outlook and each person can do that themselves and be able to see a roll-up view, but that's a Band-Aid, I mean, for a, a problem that is widespread. So, so it's an option. So I'm gonna ask the other question. The, the phrasing here into a management team, is it possible that the solution they need is more like shifts for teams or shifts to be able to do shift? Like, like, what are they, what are these calendars? Like, what's the business purpose that they're trying to accomplish? Yeah. Cause just, just looking at this going, I have a team's calendar and I want to roll it into a management calendar. I'm like, well, are you doing shift work? Like what's happening here? Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's why I say it. Like I was trying to use the example of, so this is, I read this as there's teams one through four. So there's four different teams. Yeah. That each have a calendar. Then they yeah. have a management, a leadership team, team, and with the calendar, and they want those four all to filter and blend in this magic, you know, fifth calendar. Yeah, so that no, doesn't exist the, out of the box. I, but I, I think, think the, that, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I go think ahead. the people that have like they're working on project management and they're working on four or five different projects that have different calendars, and they need one view of everything that's going on, so they're not double booking themselves. You know, they're trying to manage the meetings between all four. At that. You know, that's what I think of. You know, so, it only took a decade for Microsoft with Project to finally think in terms of portfolio, mm -hmm. not just project portfolio. So like, look, it took a like a over a decade of the community yelling at them, like, why can't I go and do this? Something simple. I mean, I one of my first SharePoint projects that I did as an employee is I went and built a roll-up for a portfolio view into project plans. And it was manual, but it, we created that high-level visibility and it, you know, going and over and sitting. And that's actually how I got to know uh, Christoph uh, Feisinger when he was over on the project team, was yelling at him about portfolio, adding portfolio features. Give us the aggregated view of these things. Yeah. So... It didn't even happen. I think he had left the team before it. They added that capability. So, <laughs> so which I'm just saying, like he joined the SharePoint team, which is great, and uh, but it just meant that all of my yelling was in vain. So <laughs> now Not in vain, it happened eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but now all of that yelling went into him, who's on the SharePoint team, who can fix it here now, right? Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. Now we just <laughs> he has emotional issues from people yelling at him, but that, well, yeah. <laughs> I, Look I'm, at what I'm, you've done, Christian. <laughs> I'm, I'm still perplexed by this, not by the need, but why this is so complicated. And then it's not a judgment. I, I'm thinking it must be very complicated to to aggregate and sync this up. And, you know, 
other, and a previous question we had was about the the, the suitability of a tool. And, and, you know, maybe a team's calendar. That's how, that sounds like that's pretty much targeted just for that team. And, you know, a calendar at the end of the day usually becomes a list. And, the, you know, and when you're synchronizing data or aggregating up or having a view into all these different things, like it gets quite complicated. So, yeah. Like I get the I get the need for the question. I'm scratching my head why it's so hard and why that doesn't exist. Wait, can't you do a roll up that. in hubs? Like, can't you hub all of the SharePoint site sites together, and then do a roll up in the hub site of the calendar, a blended know, view calendar, that. or would it just pull the separate calendars and give you visibility in one location? Oh, Jay. I think it would just give you visibility. Right, but that's all so they're that, asking for, right? Well, I, no, I mean, I interpret this as they're looking for that that federated view of that. I mean, I go back to Sherry. I think you had the answer. It's like, look at if on those four teams, you create in the attributes for it a flag, have a power app that grabs. So, because maybe not every item needs to roll up to the leadership team. Some are there for each of those project teams that are relevant to them. Mm -hmm. They could flag an item that hey this needs to be on the shared or the management calendar and then a power app that goes and looks for that flag imports that over to that list and updates in that view and recreates the item there's an answer it's not out of the box but yeah but the the main problem with that is maintaining it so once course. you you know once you post it into that list if it changes in the primary list you've got it your power app has to account for that too and how do you know i'm just thinking database wise you have like a primary key that identifies is there a grid or, or good or whatever for that item that it goes and looks say if it changes update i mean that that gets really yeah. complicated it's yeah. not just yeah. like a one-shot yeah. deal and yeah. making sure it synchronizes not just right. post it when it's ready yeah. so or if we got the date wrap, we change it up. yeah yeah because yeah. nothing ever gets rescheduled ever right <laughs> no, of course not <laughs> Calendar items are created in pen for a reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>